Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do family sharing on your Steam account in 2019. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Before I get too far into today's video, I want to give a little bit of information on how this works. Just so your expectations are accurate and you know exactly how this works. So you don't expect some miracle family sharing account. So how this works is you'll have to get two or more than two users to log into a single computer and then each user will have to set up settings that they will share their games for that one computer for multiple users. So what I mean by this is say if user A and user B both log into the one computer, they both enable family sharing for this computer, both users A and B will have access to A and B's games for that one computer. Now Steam allows up to 10 computers, so you can do this on up to 10 computers with multiple profiles. So keep this in mind, it's not that you share access to these games globally, so you can't just log into a new computer anywhere and have access to those games. It's whatever computer both users log into and set up. So they won't have full access to your profile, they'll only have access to your shared games and software that you have on your Steam account. So keep this in mind, it's not a miracle setup, it's only for a single computer and you can do this on up to 10 computers with different profiles. And I'll be showing you step by step how to do it in today's video. So the first thing you need to do is be logged into your Steam account. And once this is open, we're gonna be clicking on Steam on the top left of our client. We're gonna be going to settings and then this little pop-up tab will show up. We're gonna be selecting the family option here and we're gonna be looking for a checkbox to authorize library sharing on this computer. What you need to do is make sure this box is selected and this is gonna be the first step for the first user on this computer. From this point, we're gonna be coming up to the top right of our Steam account. We're gonna be clicking on the user profile dropdown and we're gonna be logging out. Now what we're gonna to have to do is log in with the second user to our Steam account. In this case, you can use any other profile you wish. They'll have to log in. And I will mention at this point, you are gonna to have to have Steam Guard enabled on both profiles to be able to do this. I don't think Steam will allow you to do this otherwise. Once the second user has logged in, we're gonna be following a similar process. We're gonna be coming up to Steam on the top left. We're gonna be clicking on the settings option right here. The little pop-up is gonna show up again. We're gonna be clicking the family options. And then one more time, we're gonna be authorizing library sharing on this computer. You're gonna to have to give it a second, a small pop-up will appear. Select the other user you wanna share your family sharing games with, and then you'll see it'll be accepted. You can click OK and this box will shut down. From this point, if I hover over my library, you can see Scobie's games in this case, which is my games. And this user has eight extra games from my profile that they can use, install while logged onto this computer. So say for example, you wanna share this with someone in your family and you're in the same household. You basically set this up on multiple computers and then both people will have access to both other users' games. So a quick breakdown is if I'm trying to play a game from user B, but user B tries to load up one of their own games while playing something, I will get kicked off of their games, but I can still play my own games during this process and this will work vice versa. There is some small ways around this by playing offline depending on the game you're playing. So you can work around the system a little bit, but it still is pretty locked down on Steam. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to set up family sharing on Steam in 2019. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.